Well, nearly two years ago, we introduced you to a young woman who was just days away from drawing her last breath. Sam Bowling needed a double lung transplant and dreamed of marrying Ty Jamison, the love of her life. The couple is celebrating their first anniversary, but as Brad Johansson shows us, they still face some obstacles, right, Brad? Yeah, uh, Rob, Sam was dying when Ty proposed to her, but a double lung transplant really in the 11th hour saved her life. And now one year after their wedding, they refuse to let time or lack of it control them. So in the morning we have anti-rejection, which are these four. So this is morning. This, it would be around lunchtime. Oh, they're shooting out. It's fine as long as the dogs don't get them. The dogs, Ben and Jerry, are her kids now. And the pills, 180 of them every week, are what keeps Sam alive that and an elixir called true love. You'll fight harder for your life um, if you know you have a reward afterwards. It's, it's powerful, you know, love is powerful and um, the, the sense of want and uh, just, just knowing that it's worth fighting for. We met Sam and Ty a little over two years ago when he came home from a band gig in the Virgin Islands to propose. She was waiting with a lung capacity of less than 15 percent. The miracle call came shortly after that there was a donor, a donor whom two years later is still a stranger. Before a transplant, I hated pizza, and now we eat pizza at least once a week. Um, I enjoy pizza a lot. <laughs> so my questions are, you know, were they adventurous? Uh, because I went rock climbing and zip lining and all these things that I would have been a little hesitant to do before. Despite numerous blogs, articles, and posts in hopes of finding the donor's family, there's been no response, except from the hundreds of fans who call them the perfect couple. A couple that lives knowing in three years, transplant history says she has a 50% survival rate. That short little amount of time gets crushed by, you know, our positivity and our love for each other and not worrying about that because it is inevitable, but until it happens, you know, we're going to live our life, you know, and not take it for granted. Sam now has a pick line for daily antibiotics to drain into her lungs and fight the three bacteria now present in her chest and sinuses. But it didn't stop their anniversary trip to Canada and Niagara Falls. After all, time is ticking. Everyone's going to die. It's inevitable. And so for us, it's more important to live and do all the exciting things that we want to do rather than sit and um, crunch numbers on how much time I could possibly have left. So she breathes. Take a deep breath. Exhale now. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. And you know she will. Keep going. And doctors think that they can get the bacteria out of her lungs, but they aren't sure about the sinuses at this point. But Sam says, I'll, I'll take that day by day. But on this day, we say happy 27th birthday, Sam. Go ahead and have another slice of pizza. So positive. I, it just, it's catching, isn't it, to be around them? And everybody who is in that venue kind of feels the same way about them. So, you know, if you want to deal with the people who take it moment by moment and get the most out of their moments, that's a pretty good yeah. couple for it. Yeah, good lessons for them. Yeah. Thanks, Brett.